Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to my booktube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul for you guys. I don't remember the last time I posted a haul. Probably hasn't been that long if we're being honest, but these are just a bunch of books that I got for like Christmas or I just have been stressed so I bought them due to the beginning of the semester. There's a lot of fantasy and a lot of things that I'm just very excited for. So I hope you guys are excited as well. But before we get into the video, I am very happy to say that this video is actually being sponsored, which is insane. Literally never thought I'd be saying that. Today I am partnering with Ana Luisa to show you some beautiful jewelry that they have kindly sent me and that I just, it's gorgeous, so I need to show it off. So if you have not heard about Ana Luisa before, they are a jewelry company with an amazing sustainability mission. They're also carbon neutral and water neutral. They have pieces that start at around $39, but if you're looking for something a little fancier, they do have higher end pieces if you're interested in that. I'm also really excited that I get to talk about them at this moment specifically specifically because it's almost Valentine's Day and they are currently having a sale that's buy one get one 40% off so you could pick up something for a loved one or you could pick up something for yourself. <laughs> they also have super fast shipping worldwide like I got my pieces so quickly and I'm a very impatient person so that was nice. So if you want to know more about them you can follow them on Instagram or subscribe to their newsletter. So they did agree- where did- okay they're there. <laughs> they did agree to send me a couple of pieces and I am literally obsessed with all of them like I love them so the piece that I was most excited to receive I've had my eye on these forever they are these little dagger earrings and they're adorable like I never thought I would be saying that about tiny knives but I'm literally obsessed with these and these are the Hannah Lee earrings in silver but I believe they also have them in gold if you prefer gold. So this gold necklace that I am wearing right now is the Rebecca necklace and it looks like a tiny sun. I absolutely love the little stone in the middle. I just think it's so dainty. And honestly, like this is random, but I really like it when chains have like the little beads throughout them. I don't know. I just feel like it really jazzes things up a bit. And then the last piece I have, which I'm so excited about because I've also had my eye on this forever because this comes from a clockwork reader and this is her necklace with Anna Luisa and I just think it's beautiful. This is the Hannah necklace. I think it's gonna be perfect for like nicer outfits. Like let's say I'm going for a brunch. Um, I never go for brunches, but if I did go for a brunch, this is the kind of thing I would wear, you know? I just think it's gorgeous. So if you're interested in any of this jewelry that I showed you or any other jewelry that is on the Anna Luisa website, you can click the link in the description and then you can also shop their sale and whatnot. Totally don't have to, but it's down there for you if you are interested. Thank you again so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. And now we can get into my book haul, which I'm also very excited about. So I think I'm gonna start off with some YA fantasy. Wow, I have more books here than I thought I did. First up, I have Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I had just heard so much about this book that I had to pick it up. It also sounded like something I liked. It's like a Prince of Hell is the love interest and we all know I'm into that. Well, do we all know that? I know I'm into that. I haven't honestly heard great things about the second one, Kingdom of the Cursed, but I have heard good things about this one. So I'll be interested to see what my take on it is if I end up getting to the second one at any point soon. Next up, we have A Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I don't really know much about this book, um, except that I know it takes place in a library and I love the cover of it. Which is not a reason to buy a book, but honestly, it's gorgeous. Like, this art is exquisite. I, you know, don't really like to go into a book knowing too much about it anyway, so my lack of information is okay in this case. Next up, I have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I actually tried to read this book over the summer, but the thing is, this is gonna sound really stupid. <laughs> I started reading this after I finished The Infernal Devices, and it was just like, too similar but not similar enough and it made me sad <laughs> i think i've i've gotten over it i'm not no i haven't i haven't gotten over it but again i think i think it'll be okay i've heard good things about like the the romance in this book next up this one isn't really fantasy but like it's not contemporary you know it's a dystopian and i have not read a dystopian in a really long time i think the last dystopian i read might have been like Insurgent in seventh grade. I never even finished the series. I never read Allegiant, but that was the last one I read. That was like nine years ago. God, I'm so old. I'm not even old, but I'm old. Um, shatter me. I just hear so many people talking about this book. 
that's the reason I pick up a lot of books and honestly most of the time I'm not disappointed so let's we'll see how this goes honestly I really want to make a video where I read the first three books I think it, it was originally a trilogy so if you're interested in that please let me know because um I like some good feedback <laughs> Next up, I have The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. I read this book over the summer, actually, but I read it via audiobook. And honestly, I wasn't gonna pick it up, but then Half Price Books was having like a 20% off sale. And it's got like artwork at the beginning of each of the short stories, because this is a short story collection. And honestly, I love the artwork in this. I have to find my favorite one, though. Nobody's gonna be surprised who it is. James Herondale. Yep, that's the one. Like, am I gonna read this again? No. Should I have bought it? Who knows? <laughs> I'm excited to have it though. Next up are a bunch of Lee Bardugo books, so I hope you don't mind. First up, I actually have two editions of Crooked Kingdom to show you, which is like maybe embarrassing, but it's fine because I have the hardback of Crooked Kingdom with the red sprayed pages, which then I guess I should also show you Six of Crows, which has the black sprayed pages. I got these in like a book lot because I was trying to get the Shadow and Bone series and these were just like included in it. And I was like, well, I don't own them in hardback yet, so yeah, it's fine. And I'm honestly really glad I have them. Like, yeah, I already own paperback versions of them, but they're just so nice to look at. And I love the sprayed pages. Like, I've never had a book with black sprayed pages, and I think it looks so cool. So I'm glad to have those. Then my other edition of Crooked Kingdom is the Collector's Edition, and it is divine look at the gold foiling the spine matches the shadow and bone collector's edition there's character art in the back which i'm also obsessed with i like this one even more than the character art that's in the six of crows special edition even though i do plan on getting that one at some point and then no one cares about Kawaii, sorry and then i also have the language of thorns i don't even know how to describe these are they like fairy tales but like in like fairy tales for the Grisha verse maybe I'm not a hundred percent sure but it is gorgeous um and I I had to continue on with my Lee Bardugo collection um and it's not even done yet because I also have paperback versions of Shadow and Bone now I already had a couple of paperback versions of these but they were different sizes it was a whole thing so I decided to just buy a set of them on eBay. They were kind of expensive, but honestly, like, it could have been worse. So, I'm still glad I have them. I adore the original covers so much. So, here they are. I am so happy to have them. And they're in really good condition, too. The spines are, like, uncracked. And I've just sold the other two that I have, so it's all good. Okay, um, adult fantasy. That's what we're moving on to. So, first up I have a series that I've been obsessed with recently, and I'm sure you all know what it is because I haven't stopped making videos about it, but I'm almost out of books, so you'd only, you, you only have to hear me talk about it a little bit. <laughs> and that is the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. I have the other one down there, which I'll show you in a second. So, I read these for a video, I ended up loving them, I'm obsessed. I mean, honestly, A Court of Frost and Starlight didn't really do it for me, but... The rest of this series was great. So we have A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin, and then A Court of Frost and Starlight. So these are all so fun. I loved them all. So there's that. And then I also have A Court of Silver Flames, which I'm going to be reading soon. Don't you worry. I had to get it in the, you know, hardcover because the paperback's not out, like the one that matches those. But I think it comes out in like September and it's all orange. So definitely gonna be picking that up. I mean, I guess if I absolutely despise this book, I won't pick it up, but I can't imagine that's gonna happen. Because from what I've read so far, I love Nesta and Cassian. So um, I am excited to read this also. I really hope I like this because this hardback was expensive. <laughs> Next up we have Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. This book, like I did not just buy it because it's absolutely gorgeous. Like look at the, it's can we wow just everything about this cover drew me in and that's what really made me read the synopsis and realize that yeah i am kind of interested in this book so i'm super glad that i'm i am interested in it because if i thought the story was boring i'd be so sad that i couldn't buy this book and i'm just very excited to read this i think it came out like january so she's new She's fresh. I haven't heard a lot of thoughts on it yet, so I'll be interested to see what my thoughts on it are. Next up, I have The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I don't remember 
the plot of this one. Oh, okay. This is the one where someone like finds a book in a library that's all about their life. Which sounds interesting. That's all I got. I also love the cover of this one. I think this might be the UK edition of it. Yeah, because it says pounds on there. But it's just so much prettier than the US version. Like this gold foil B. Gorgeous. A plus for cover design. And then next up, I have a couple of like proper fantasy romance books that I've been reading. And I, well, I've only read like half of one of these, but I love it. Like it's so good. So I have. The Bridge Kingdom by Danielle L. Jensen, and then I also impulsively bought the second one, The Traitor Queen, um, like 10 pages in this book because I was really loving it and I figured I had to get it. This one is like enemies to lovers. She is a spy that's like sent into his kingdom on the guise that she is now like his wife. And that's all I needed to know. Like it just sounds so good. I have high hopes for The Traitor Queen as well, even though I'm only halfway through this one, but you know. I think it'll be good. And then next up I have a deal with the Elf King by Elise Kova. I've seen this one maybe a couple times. I get a lot of my fantasy romance recommendations from a frolic through fiction. I love her videos so much. So she reads like, you know, a decent amount of fantasy romance. So anything she recommends, I'm like, add to cart, let's go. So I am excited to read this one as well. This one is like a Hades and Persephone slash Beauty and the Beast retelling, which just sounds like everything I need to be honest, because recently I have read a Hades and Persephone retelling and a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and generally I enjoyed both of them. So, you know, there we go. I'm excited. All right, lastly here I have a couple of, um, I don't know if they're really contemporary. These are just things that don't fit with, with the rest of the fantasy in this haul because it's not fantasy. So, um, first up I have The Hand on the Wall and The Vanishing Stair by Maureen Johnson. These are the second and third books in the Truly Devious series, which I read and I loved. So I'm really hoping that I can read both of these this year, maybe? Maybe I'm setting my sights too high. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm excited to see where the story goes because I literally have no clue. Then I also have The Dark Vault by Victoria Schwab. I just needed to continue my Victoria Schwab collection and... This one sounds good. It, I think it takes place in like a library. It has like two books in here. It's the archived and the unbound. So like half is one, half is the other. Which I'm honestly not a big fan of bind ups of books, but this one also matched the rest of her books that I have. So like it had to be done. It had to be done. Okay, and then lastly in this haul, I have a classic. So that is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I put this on my 20, actually a decent amount of these are on my 2022 TBR, but this one is also on my TBR and I did not like Persuasion, but again, I think I need to give Miss Jane Austen another chance. So I figured I would go into one that I already know the story of because I have seen the 2004 adaptation with Keira Knightley in it and I loved that movie. So that is the haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm super excited for all of these fantasy books and some not fantasy books to read in this new year. It's gonna be good. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. If you want to shop any of the jewelry that I've shown you or any of the jewelry that's just on their site in general, the link is in the description. Don't forget they're having like a buy one, get one 40% off sale if you are interested. And then I also wanna thank you guys because it's literally insane that I have a sponsor for a video. Like it's, would not be possible without you guys watching my videos and continuing to support me. Sorry to get sappy, but it just makes me so happy. So if you liked the video, please let me know down below what is a book that you have acquired recently, be that you bought it or you got it as a gift or you got it from the library. I'd love to know and I will see you in my next video. Bye.